Hey foam fanatics, it's Gerard from Shifting Lands and I want to make a short video about applying texture to different kinds of foam. So in a previous video you did see me talking about these four types and cutting some of them up in smaller pieces and now it's time to apply some structure. So let's do this. So I talked about four types of foam that XPS foam that are easily available and I use a lot. So just a reminder, we have the Jacodur, the Styrodur, the Sopra and the Floormate. So we want to apply some textures on these types of foam and for this I will be using these cylinder an aluminum foil ball and some pencils. I quickly applied some structure using this ball of aluminum foil and they all take the structure the, from the ball very well. And as a matter of fact, um, and this has to do with, again, the, the grain, um, it, the light comes from the side. And I see a, in these two types of foam, I see very sharp lines. The contrast is very high. Um, with these, they are a little bit less. And if I look very closely, I see that if I should arrange them, in a way uh, where it gets from sharper to less sharp, I should probably do it like this. Now this is interesting. So <clears throat> the one with the finest, densest structure is the, is the roof mate. It has a very, very dense structure and the result is a very sharp and contrast like structure but almost the same is this sopra foam a little bit less is the styrodur and again a little bit less is the jacodur but in the end they all look nice but it's just a test to see how um, these foams behave when I apply this structure. Okay, well, but maybe Ruben, he's my cameraman. Ruben, can you switch off one light? Okay, now this is even better. You can see, I can see the contrast even better. Sharp, less sharp, less sharp. Um, overall, I think when you paint these up, when you brush them, they all will look nice. But again, it's just a comparison of four totally different types of XPS foam. Let's go on with the next test and apply a structure using cylinders. I just take a cylinder. I just take a block of foam. So here we have the result of applying structure using these cylinders and I put them specifically in the same order as before and again I notice that the imprint on these two types are much deeper, are much more visible. Uh, this one is less and this one is even lesser. So uh, again. Uh, once paid, uh, once you've painted it uh, and dry brush it, it will look probably very nice. But I am really very imp impressed by the results on these two types of foam. Okay, the final, the final test. Let's apply some structure using pencils.
So, okay, so um, I took roughly two minutes to structure each block. Uh, made a little piece of two wooden beams, um, plastered wall and some cracks and a few stones. And again, this is interesting. Um, four types of foam, they all behave differently, but I can say we have to split these four in the middle. These two behave more or less the same. This is the Sopra, this is the Jakodur, the Styrodur and the floor mate, roof mate, sorry. They also behave more or less the same. Now, let's start with these two. Um, the, the thing is, and that is very interesting, uh, as you can remember, the Sopra, I, I liked the texture of the cylinder uh, and combined with the aluminum foil technique uh, actually the best or one of the best but when it comes to applying texture with pencils uh, sharp pencils mainly the foam tends to tear more easily uh, so in order to get very sharp clean lines is a bit more time consuming. So that is something um, that is that I didn't expect, but is actually the case. And more or less the same goes for the Jaco Dur. Uh, it has the most open structure of all four, and therefore I think it will easy more easily tear when you try and draw sharp lines. It is possible, but you have to be more careful. As for uh, the other group, I think really that there isn't that much difference. Maybe the floor for roof mate was a little bit better than the styrofoam. Um, um, let me see. Uh, I tend to say yes, but the difference is very, very small. Um, but that makes it again very interesting. When it comes to applying texture with pencils, I tend to go for these. But when it comes to applying structure with aluminum foil and cylinders, I tend to go for these. So in the end, I go for this one, the roof mate. Um, hope I can get it still. But anyways, no, that's, that's just silly. I mean, if you have it, uh, that's great because it is a very nice material. And yet again, I really have to say this again. I use all the four types, but um, in, depending on what you want to make, um, you see there are some differences in how the foam behaves when applying structure, texture. Okay, I hope this was interesting. Uh, it was interesting for me. I've learned something from my own video. Hooray, hooray. So thank you for watching. Um, have a great day. And whenever you get, have the time, start, uh, start crafting. And maybe if you need some of these rollers, hey, the link is in the description. See you. Bye-bye.